Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another TOS video. So, let's have a bit of a throwback video today. Uh, went back to Pili Puppet Extra, right? And then, this is the Fire Extra. Right, so, I've, we have gotten more new cards, right? So, I find that we are able to take down this Extra slightly easier than last time. Right, so here it is. This is my clear for this Fire Extra, finally. Right, so, we're running a Nobunaga team, right? And then inside we have Kyo from the King of Fighters. Right, so uh, one thing to note, you guys, um, there'll be three sections in this video, right? So the video will kind of cut off halfway because um, my phone was kind of overheating. Right? You can see from the lag at some parts of the video, right? So I had to stop, wait for my phone to cool down before I resume my recording, right? So that's how it is. So anyway, let's go back to the strategy for this particular team setup. Right, so this team, I would say that is rather stable. Right, I cannot guarantee a very stable team for Pili Puppet extras, right? Because these are one of the more ridiculous stages in TOS, right? So let's have a look at what I've done in this video. All right, so we have a uh, battle tree. Right, so battle tree, I actually died here a, a few times, right? Because I didn't manage to clear off the bot. Right, so basically you have three turns to clear off a full mark board here right every turn they're gonna re uh, mark the hard runes right so you can see here my phone is starting to overheat a bit right um although it's only a battle tree right because i've been attempting this extra for two times before this successful run right so all the painful work that i've go through for this stupid stage right so you can see a uh, kind of laggy already so i think anytime this video is going to cut off then i'm going to move on to the second one around now okay i think after this spin <laughs> yeah all right so uh basically after this spin I'm, the video is going to cut off so i'm going to move on to the second section of this video all right so part two right back after my phone cool down all right so you can see we're back here with the two salamanders remaining in this stage all right so if you're lucky, you can actually have, uh, you will run into Salamanders with Enchanted Shield, right? So with this, you can actually store your CD if you have to, right? By just not dissolving Enchanted Runes, right? But take note, the Salamanders, as usual, they are very, they are very hard hitters, right? So when they reach CD1, be sure to just kill them off and not store, right? Just to be safe. All right, so here we have the next mini boss, which is Swagder, with low HP, high attack, initially upon encountering she's gonna convert a random color into water runes right so here basically you just on uh catherine right to add three more rolls and with the amount of runes on the board it should be more than enough to take down um swagger here right so also take note that i've activated media as well right once media is up just activate her for the extra damage boost for this team right so this team's damage output is relatively high already right with media assisting the damage right it's gonna be pretty massive right but nonetheless still kind of struggle with this stage right so by far i find that this is one of the more stable teams to clear right so uh if you guys notice at the very start of the video right the extra was actually a clear sign right meaning that i've actually cleared this extra before right so what happened was that i've lost the footage of that extra right hence i have to replay it to record for you guys Alright, so anyway, back to the, the mini boss. Next mini boss, we have 15 fire accumulative shield. Right, so here I'm, I was kind of lucky with the sky drops, right? I managed to break through um, 15 runes with just a Nobunaga convert. Right, so if you can't break through with one, one spin, not to worry, right? Uh, you should be able to break this 15 hit shield in two turns, right? Which is not much of a threat uh, for that stage. Alright, so next we have two guards, right? Right side. Earth one is gonna have 100% HP reduct uh HP uh, deduction annihilation, right, in three turns, right? CD3. And then the other one is gonna mark water runes every turn. Right, so this guy hits pretty okay, right? Damage is still quite decent. Right, so this is where I turn off media to kind of grind down this particular guard's HP. Right, because 
it depends on the board, right? Uh, you some sometimes you have a massive sky drop for water runes, and you end up marking most of the board, right? So that's not good. Right, so you want to find a good op opportunity to kind of burst this guard down, like what I did here, right? So I seize the opportunity when he's when there's a board full of fire, light, and dark, and then use this chance to burst down the guard, right? So one reason to store here. Uh, to off media here is to store CD as well as to just play safe in a way. Okay, so next we have Susano. Right, Susano with a full frozen bot, so here is where Seth comes in. Right, so I would say that every single member here plays a big role in this battle. Right, so if people is gonna ask me um, any alternative cards, hmm, maybe not. Right, so I find that every card here plays a big role. Right, you see what I mean. Right, so Seth here is used to remove away the frozen bots. Right, so Seth is one of the more is is a very important member as well. Right, so we can see with with the frozen bot removed, the frozen runes removed, uh, it's relatively easy to burst down that first HP bar. Second HP bar on Nobunaga on compulsion. Right, I was a bit um confident confident last time right doing a nobunaga convert and having like two or three sets of um, fire sky drop right so i'm like hmm seems enough looks looks like there's enough damage so i did not on the compulsion button end up dying right so don't save your compulsion be just be very very generous with your compulsion meter right activate one of them at susano stage right you will need it Okay, so moving on, battle 10 out of 15, right, so we have, uh, this, I think this is the last round or last, second last round of mini mobs, right, so I see that the witch is double hit and it's on CD1, right, so I don't want to risk, you know, storing here, so I just gonna move on, right, so in any case that your mini mobs end, uh, starts with a CD2 or CD3, as long as there's no CD1, try to at least store a few turns there, right, try to get your Seth back up. Uh, Nobunaga or whatever cards that I've used. Right, so next we have one, uh, these two Imperial Lord mini mobs here. Right, so you can only damage the water one after you kill the earth one. Alright, so here relatively easy to take down the earth one. Right, so the reason why I off media here, so same thing as the water guard because it's water attribute and um, just to play safe, you just grind down this water, uh, this archer here. Right, so basically, same 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 strategy here. You you want to um, store CD as well as to play safe at the same time, right? But of course, take note of the round limit. I don't think you exceed the round limit, right? But just take note of it, right? In case you run out of round limits. Alright, so here you can see that uh, compulsion meter is going up as well, right? So if you use uh, if you use Susano. At the, if you use compulsion at Susano, what am I saying? Right, you want to store back your Susano. <laughs> you want to store back your Susano. You want to store back your compulsion, um, as fast as possible, right? Because the second compulsion bar is not gonna be used at the boss, right? You're gonna use it before the boss, so get it up as soon as possible, right? Because we're almost there. Battle twelve out of fifteen. Right, so we have a uh, Oichi here with anti initial water combo as well as electrified water runes. Right, so here, take the chance to activate Nobunaga again to clear off the water, uh, water runes as well as the electrifying runes. Right, so here, try to spin as many ameliorations as possible and full board if possible. Right, so you can see here, uh, you can see I barely managed to pass through. Right, so if I have a, board, a decent board right, of fire runes at least, uh, you should be able to take down Oichi there. Alright, so next we have I, I can't remember this guy's name already. <laughs> so this guy comes with invisibility shield, Tetris shield, as well as mass runes. Right, so Seth is gonna be the MVP here, is to snipe him, remove the invisibility shield, as well as to remove most of the mass runes. Right, and then with that you should be able to take down the first HP bar relatively easily. Right, so here uh I would say that this um this stage is a blessing in disguise, right? So typically, you will kill off the first HP bar within that one burst there, right? But I managed to store one turn because of that, right? As the boss, the mini boss survived the hit, so I managed to store one turn. Right, so second HP bar is going to give you a debuff, 
right? Every time you dissolve water rune, your team attack reduces, right? So here, activate Nobunaga to remove the water runes for sure, right? And activate Compulsion, right? So here is where you run the second Compulsion, because I th I think that this guy have more, no, this guy have lesser HP than the boss, but about there, right? But the, the only difference is the boss is Earth attribute and this guy is water, right? You have the disadvantage here. So on compulsion to boost up your damage and you should be able to go through the second HP bar relatively easily with compulsion. All right, so next. Okay, I need to emphasize that my craft plays a very big part here because my craft, every three, uh, there's a three random humans minus um, three random human minus CD two, uh, minus two CD effect, right? So that actually helps to bring Nobu Nobunaga back just in time for this particular stage, right? So we have Earth Wine Valkyrie here with um six weathered runes, right? So here activate Nobunaga once again because you do not want to dissolve water runes first and foremost, and you have to remove as much um. Weather runes as possible. Right, so here is where my phone starts to overheat once again. Right, so I'll be right back. Alright, so welcome back for that short um overheating session there. Right, so we come to the boss. So take note that the water debuff is still in play. Right, so the boss have two second movement time. Um uncontrollable together with above nine combos. Right, so here does not seem as easy as it, as, as it looks, right? You have to on Catherine, you have to spin above 9 combos, right? You have to do enough damage, and you cannot dissolve water runes, right? So, it's a very, very challenging situation here, right? But you can see I still dissolve water runes because of the sky drop, right? But, 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 damage, I still manage to go through, right? You can see my damage is significantly reduced. Right, so that's a very very dangerous situation there. Right, so second HP bar comes in with the 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 neutralize, no reset, right? So your media is still good to go. Weather runes for earth runes. Right. The more demons in your team, the higher the attack. So you can see here I can manage to take a I managed to take a hit. Right, so that gives me one turn to get Nobunaga up. Right, so on media, on Kyo. Right, you can only attack effect one, uh activate effect one because there's no more compulsion meter. Right, so Kyo is gonna launch like four extra attacks, right? Plus uh times 1.5 buff. Right, so this is definitely gonna guarantee the kill. Right, even without compulsion. The final HP bar of the boss is 50 million HP. Right, and you can see we safely cleared this extra once again. <laughs> okay, so overall, honestly, I do not want to touch any of the Pili Puppet extra that I've already cleared because it's too much of a nightmare. <laughs> right, but I had to record this one again right, for you guys because I lost the clip and I promise that I'll deliver every single extra for you guys. Alright, so that will be it for the fire extra for Pili Puppet. Right, so hopefully, if you guys have this setup, I, I encourage you to go for it and right, follow my um, setup. Should be able to clear uh, this particular extra. Right, so with this, two down, three more to go. I'll try to finish the other three as soon as possible, right, I hope. Right, so anyway, hopefully you guys like this video here. Leave a like if you did. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.